with the rebrand that was taking place to move from the EU LCS to the LEC. There was a good opportunity to update our studio and push the boundaries of where we had been before and bring it to somewhere else. You have to start with an idea. Being in Berlin, we felt that we have a unique opportunity to really do some things differently here. Authenticity, raw, you know, but those are kind of like the basic building blocks for what it is that we were looking to do. So for studio design, we reached out to Misty Buckley and her team, who we've worked together with in the past for our road shows. So what we'll get first will be a concept deck that's like a mood board. From there, we end up having a site visit. We take measurements and we look at like how we're going to like carve up this visual space. So that's where the projected light is. You would have a curved screen and then it would be so you can light it from behind, up light it, down light it, and then you can get that kind of color, what we want the result to be. And then the metal mesh would be in front of the screen. So screen, metal mesh, and then white behind. We're looking at our old studio, but we're also trying to look at it through a lens of how we're going to end up bringing in and introducing this new stuff. Based on the stage design for Misty, that then goes to Steel Monkey for scenic set fabrication. First thing we do, we take the designer's drawings. We start turning them into construction drawings. So myself and the other draftsman, we do all the construction side of things. We issue the drawings to the guys in the workshop. We get the CNC machine up and running and the welders fired up. And then uh, it's all hands on deck, build it as fast as we can. So this machine bends all the steel to the correct radius and then we chop it up into pieces and put it back together in the frames as we need them. So that traditional scenery was very much wooden based. In recent years, and um, certainly on the larger scale jobs, steel gets used a lot more. The walls being five meter tall, they can get a bit flexible in timber, so we tend to prefer steel structure. It gives you a lot more strength. This being a bit more industrial and urban, the large walls on the side of this are actually just a steel finish, and then we'll end up painting on top of that to give it a bit of texture and lift it a bit with the lights behind it then comes up to the scenic artists. What we're looking at on the floor at the moment are the entrance walls at the back. So when all this stands up, it doesn't look that big on the floor, but it will look very big when it's in the studio. Once you move through fabrication, you would then go into uh, the load-in. And the load-in is when the fun starts, because not only does the idea that was on paper come to life, but also all of the challenges that you will face now in making this fit inside of a real space, rise to the top. As long as we got the back of that one, I can put the two walls up in the middle. All right. Um, that's fine. And that's where Skyline and Steel Monkey really get an opportunity now to collaborate. And we'll run it from that corner. Skyline is our broadcast production partner. They bring to us a wealth of experience, but also craftsmen and scenic and audio visual rigors that really help us to like answer all of the problems that may end up arising uh, for a production. They have to program each individual light and then integrate it into a whole look. So they'll create looks for Baron, uh, Champ Select, uh, in-game, uh, post-victory, all that. We have 69 aspect ratio LED screens behind the player sleds. They're larger than they were last year. We have integrated adjustable per pixel LED strips that run through lines and channels throughout the set. Wait till you see those. And we have perforated steel that allows us to completely change the look and the feel of the set. For the player entrances, we've taken the bold graphics. Uh, we've used this graphic language to be able to create these massive walls that feed into uh, these archways that have integrated LED lighting. 
there's definitely a lot more tools for us to play with. We're going to have some cool stuff with the Telestrator. We're going to be able to use stuff live in game. We have more space for the 16 wall segments, and Medius and Vedius gets to move around a little bit more as well, which is really good for me. So overall, it's just super cool. For all the things we have to work with and all the stuff we get to do here. I present you my sword, quick at once. Perfect! It's it's insane. This is the biggest upgrade we've had to the studio since we built it. So we're having a lot of fun. There's a lot of new locations. Like we're standing right behind the analyst desk and this big curved wall behind us, we get to do different types of monologues, different types of introductions. So for me as a you know, caster, I have more tools to make the best show possible. While celebrating and welcoming the 2019 LEC. The analyst desk is awesome. There's three separate uh, areas. Um, they can be used in a variety of different ways. Each of them uh, makes a bold statement. Uh, each of them has the opportunity to be this powerfully visual, impactful uh, space on its own. The studio looks amazing, the show looks fantastic. We have brand new teams, uh, all the players got shuffled around, so it just feels like everything's hyper elevated. And now then there's pressure to perform to like live up to the expectations of how incredible everything else looks. There's been moments uh, to pause to see what we've accomplished, and then there's still so many details to run through down our list to, to go live, right? from general cleaning to installing graphics and painting walls and solving some technical challenges that we might still have. Guys, here we go. Have a great show. Roll seat, please. Ah, this is so exciting! I hope that when fans who, who have been with us for years enter our studio, they get a sense of how much this also means to us. For EU, uh, for the teams, for the long-term partnerships, and for the players and the fans. I hope that they can see that care and that consideration that has been put into every single thing that we've done here.